Hey guys, it's Rush G here. How are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This one today, we've got another quick Kentech video. This situation is a V-Trigger 1 specific situation. It's an end game situation where you just need one, um, I don't wanna say one hit, but like one hit into something, into a special to close out a round. But you want to cover two situations. So we all know V-Trigger 1, EX Fireball is plus three on block, but mid screen it doesn't really do a fat lot. It's very hard to frame trap with it. Essentially, a backdash once they block the EX Fireball mid screen, they get out of pressure. But if the opponent doesn't know this, <clears throat> you can create two situations from the EX Fireball mid screen. On hit, you can confirm it into raw EX DP. So you need two bars to make this work that fails then you can do a crash and medium kick which will frame trap three frames because obviously ken's plus three after ex fireball crash and medium kick is six frame startup so that's a that will beat the majority of three frames i've tested it versus a few characters not the whole cast but the ones i've tested so far it does work it frame traps the three frame button after the plus three situation ken's in um which you can then confirm off. So the crouch of meaning kick you confirm because you're spending another bar, a two bar situation. You can spend the EX again into EX Tatsu. And that, again, that frame trap, the whole point here is to close out the round with the frame trap or with the conversion. So let me show you what happens. Um, I've got to simulate this. Um, let me try and think, let me try and think. So on hit, let's look at on hit first, yeah. So I'm gonna turn guard all off. Guard recovery actions. Okay. Um, that should be fine actually. The wake up throw will be fine. It doesn't have to be a wake up three frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, re I'm gonna knock Ryu down. I'm, I'm gonna be in V trigger one. I'm gonna knock Ryu down, and I'm gonna do a, a meaty stand medium punch into EX Fireball. And the reason why I do a, me a meaty stand medium punch is because it has less pushback when you cancel into a special. Keeps Ken, clo Ken closer. If I do crouch and medium punch. It actually pushes him back first before the fireball hits. But we're going to do stand medium punch as the meaty. Yes, it is a seven frame startup move, so it can be tricky to get stand medium punch meaty. But with practice, you can do it. So let's show what happens if they wake up buttons or if they get hit by the medium punch into the EX fireball. Check the rise type. Okay, normal recovery, it's fine. You see that? So you can confirm. So the stand medium punch hitting, you're autopiloting the X fireball off the stand medium punch. You can recognize that hitting. When you recognize it hitting, you can confirm it into EXDP mid screen. Now, I didn't know that was even possible, but it is, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see there the wake up buttons and use this tech. The worst case scenario, especially because they've been counter hit by the meaty stand medium punch. 316 damage you'll get then. That'll close the round out if they've got low health. Let's say they now block the EX Fireball. We don't want any wake up. Well, the wake up action doesn't really matter because I'm not going to knock down now. As you can see there, Ryu is doing a light punch on block. But let's say now I've knocked Ryu down and I'm going to go for meaty stand medium punch EX Fireball and they block the sequence. So obviously you don't do EXDP now. You do the crouch of medium kick. I missed the confirm, well, well, that didn't come out there. Let's try again. See that? So EX Fireball is plus three. You're point blank still because you used stand medium punch into EX Fireball, keeping you close after the Fireball cancel. That's plus three on block. You do the crouch and medium kick and confirm it on hit into the EX Tatsu. If that's a little difficult for you, there is a link you can do here instead of the crouch and medium kick. So just explain this. Again, EX Fireball's plus three on block. If you do crouch and medium punch, see that there? I am, that's still, a trap for three frames, the crouch and medium punch, and that leaves Ken at plus seven on count it. The normal crouch and medium punch is plus five. 
counter hit plus seven add two more frames of advantage so what's interesting about this is you don't need to cancel into ex tatsu now you can actually link off the crouching medium punch because ex tatsu in v trigger one is six frames start up you have seven frames of advantage so that will look like this now see that it's still comboed but i linked it instead of cancelling so you can do that i mean i wouldn't really go for that unless i'm unless i'm 100 percent sure mentally well you can never be 100 percent sure 95 percent sure they're going to press a button then you can go for that to frame trap and link into the ex tattoo the same concept when you do crouch and meaning punch into ca to link as well um but really you should be going for crouch and meaning kick With practice, you can you can learn that confirm. Um, worth noting as well, they're near the corner. If you go for this situation, you can you should be able to. Yeah, go for that instead. If you want more damage, you can do that if you're nearer the corner. But essentially, like I said, this is an end game situation where you need about 200 damage. So you're covering the meaty, the wake up button by medium punch into ex fireball. You confirm that into EXDP. If they block that sequence, it's crouch and medium kick. Confirm that into EX Tatsu. If they wake a button or, or walk backwards. If they backdash, like I said. They will escape. That's the only downside to this. I think, I'm pretty sure this is consistent. See that? They can get out. Which sucks. So that, that's the weakness of the EX Fireball mid-screen. The backdash does pretty much blow it up. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, there is something else you can do as well. You can do, instead of the stand medium punch, if you want a quicker button, you can do the EX Fireball. Sorry, EX Fireball. You can do stand light kick into EX Fireball. Uh, it works in the same way. The thing with this is, maybe this is a better option actually, is it's a frame trap. So where stand medium punch EX Fireball is not a frame trap, it's a true string. Stand like it EX Fireball. See that? It's a, it's a frame trap. So if they press anything or backdash, it actually does. The EX Fireball connects. And you still can confirm it into the EXTP as well. I change Ryu now to press a button. I'll get a trade here. You can still do the EXTP. On block, of course, it's the same thing. So uh, it's tricky to set the. Because it's a frame trap, it's tricky to set this up. But if you imagine I'm doing the X Fireball. Oops. That's, that still works, you know what I mean? That still works. Because obviously they block the whole string, you're still plus three. If that makes sense. Um, if I were to turn guard all off, and just show you that sequence again, now, with the wake up, well, on wake up. Timing will be tricky. I'm always, I always always struggle to get stand like you meet him. You can see there, it still works. So you do the stand like you into EX Fireball, if they wake up buttons, obviously the stand like it will connect. The EX Fireball will then also connect and you still get the EX DP. It still connects. So the stand like it into the EX Fireball, the pushback is pretty good. So you don't go too far back when you do that. Whereas if I show you the tech again now, with Crouch and Meaning Punch, for example, into EX Fireball, you'll see what I mean. The EX DP should whiff. Yeah, see that? It doesn't reach. So that's why I say stick with stand medium punch or stand light kick you can do back medium punch the risk of doing back medium punch is if you whiff the back medium punch and then you do ex fireball that will happen you'll get the whole chin bus just whiffing which isn't good if you look at my inputs i'm doing back medium punch into ex fireball but because of the whiff no ex fireball comes out so again yeah you can do this 
that will work. But I do think stand medium punch is much better, or stand high kick. It's just a better input because you don't risk when Chimbuster whiffs, the second part of Chimbuster coming out, leaving you punishable. So guys, hopefully that's helped. Um, it is a lot to take in, but I think the concept is pretty straightforward. But if it's unclear, just drop me a comment in the comment section. And I'll get back to you and answer any questions and queries you have. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope that's been insightful and I will see you in another video. Take care.